He's a darling of the beautiful people and also manages to get his work done. Truman Capote. God, didn't you ever hear that story? So he was wicked, he was fun. Well, he was rather a spectacle. There was nothing ever like him on the American scene. In those days, there were very few people who were out. He had a special life, but he was living a special way. He really saw the way to make the world you live in art. Won't you join me? We all think of Audrey Hepburn now, and of course you read the book, and it's completely different. In Cold Blood is what I call the non-fiction novel. In Cold Blood propels him into a world of achievements. His intellect made him a complete original. Truman's going to be read by generations. For a couple of years, we've been waiting for answered prayers. I refer to it now as my posthumous novel. Because either I'm going to kill it or it's going to kill me. Truman saw everything and he remembered it. Sooner or later, he was going to put it down on paper. He was writing these thinly veiled stories about people he knew. And he basically told all their secrets. The response was, how could your friend do this to you? He must have known that there was danger in all of that. Once you blend fiction and nonfiction, things get a little slippery. Truman used to always say, don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. So watch out. <laughs> he had this terrible need to be loved. And I don't think Truman ever thought he was loved.